I really think it's important to be part of an association. The first reason I would give is that it's quite lonely being a teacher. You learn to teach in community with a whole bunch of fellow people who are all excited about what you're doing and it feels like you will be close to them forever. <laughs> and then life gets in the way and you could very easily end up just being a little one-man band all on your own, trying to do your thing. Other thing I would say is that when you're a teacher in training, you have very close connections with your teachers. And again, I think at the time that you have, there is this sense that you will always have a really close connection with them. And then again, you know, life gets in the way. And so it's really important to have a strong network of connections that actually can be more ongoing and also that are designed not just to train you, but are designed to support you in the longer term. So the first and foremost thing I think is that you need to be in an association because you need to have um, a connection with other people, other people for whom this is their profession. And I would say that around being in an association, the thing that you really need to know that there is professional backup for you is if there is a complaint taken out against you. It's really crucial that there are systems and processes in place so that the person who's doing the complaining is well held and well heard and that the teacher is not just left hanging out to dry so that whatever that person says about them becomes the thing that's said about them. There needs to be a tight process so that there's issues of confidentiality and privacy and we all need to feel that there is that holding and safety that keeps us safe. And then this third thing, which is keeping standards, just keeping an eye on standards, helping me keep an eye on my standards is a very good thing. My dream would be that there would be one professional body which could hold all conscious movement teachers.